Hello and uh, welcome to a brand new episode of Mind Over Money, a show where we talk about ways how meditation, yoga and behavioral science can help you become a better and a more efficient trader, investor as well as a better human being. Well, my name is Shadda Janand and today we have with us a very special guest, uh, Mayuesh Yoshi, who is a head of research equity at William O'Neill. Welcome to the show, my great. Thank you, Shatish, for being part and inviting me on your show. Right. Thank you so much uh, for being part of the show, my great. Now, with decades of experience under your belt in capital markets, how do you maintain your cool? Yeah, so I think I have a very interesting story on this, uh, Shatish. So, when Varun Bhukhe started his journey and when he was around 11 or 12 years old, uh, uh-huh. he used to look at equity markets as stocks uh, and he used to see uh, stocks and the prices move up uh, on a daily basis. He okay. tried reading a lot of books, but he could not comprehend why all this is happening, right? Why the prices are moving on a basis. Over a period of time, uh, reading through all these great investors uh, that we had hmm. in our history, what's still with us at this point of time, it is important to note and it is important to understand that great companies and businesses keep growing over a period of time, which ultimately means that if you spend decent enough time in the market and you are able to have that patience to spend that time in the market, on your own, great companies will take care of uh, the cyclicality in the market, the market cycles, the economic condition, phases that happen periodically. So let me cite, I think, all the um, past examples that you've got, the dot-com bust, the Great Depression in the 30s, the OPEC event in 1973, Asian prices in 97, the Great Financial Crisis in 78, the COVID crash in 2020, all these uh, financial stroke black swan events which came through over a period of time markets came back to the growth trajectory i think to answer your question spending so many decades into the market a couple of decades now into the market when i started off i was influenced by the adrenaline rush uh, that the markets gave you the disappointment in market crashes but being patient over a period of time owning great businesses setting out your risk parameters have probably made me more sign right now, additionally, uh, you know, exercise is a great way to keep mentally fit and uh, we've come to know that you also do, you also follow a regime uh, on a daily basis. Tell us more about that as well. Oh, absolutely, Shitish. I think, uh, I, I do believe that mentally and physically being fit is one of the basic environments or requirements in the competitive world. Uh, mm-hmm. So, my routine is very simple. Uh, I, I go to bed early, I get up very early in the morning, meditate for 10 odd minutes, uh, have my morning prayers done. And I start with a very nice and solid breakfast. Uh, it's not that I'm into the markets all throughout the day. So during that day, I do take breaks to listen to some light music, to watch some sports because I love sports. Uh, and that takes the mental stress off, uh, which is silently building up in your psyche and system as well. Having food on time, should be, I think, is equally important. And the better up ensures that a balanced intake on timely food as well. Uh, probably keeps me sharp and focused. Uh, post markets, I think it's it's absolutely off market. Speak to friends, family, uh, on on a variety of subjects that takes the load off. And I do physical fitness as well. Uh, Six o'clock hit gym, which is equally not. Post uh, dinner, read a very light book or read something which is not related to the market at all. It completes the LG out, take the mind of the markets, keep you fresh and focused for the next day. Right. Early to bed, early to rise, uh, 6 a.m. routine. <laughs> now, <laughs> definitely, I think it checks all the boxes. But now that's about uh, your daily routine. What about your weekends? Do you push yourself extra over that weekend to beat market volatility as well? So you've got all the time uh, during the week to read about markets and stuff related to that. During the weekend as well, I think, yes, some time should be dedicated to reading stuff related to the markets, but okay. not all the time. My mm-hmm. own sense is that weekends largely is a time to unwind, spend time with family, friends, uh, go on drives, go on nature walks, play a sport, whatever you like. Uh, surprisingly, I think these activities uh, help you and help the mechanism in terms of the chemical activity in your body uh, to unwind the stress that is building up uh, and the physical okay. body that is carrying it out as well. So to feel fresh and rejuvenated, I do a lot of these activities itself. Uh, just a light thought, Shiti, I think when the markets are in full swing, I've seen a lot of people who want markets to be open on weekends, when it's the <laughs> yes. other way around. They say that I hope the markets close much before the closing hours. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure a lot of people would, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, concur with that thought as well. And the other thought, you know, yes, when when you are on a roll, you want, uh, uh, you know, probably the markets to be open uh, seven days a week <laughs> and probably, you know, 24 hours a day. 
but but that's what it is uh, apart from that what triggered you to focus on mental health uh, you raised if i want so we've been part and parcel of these markets and uh, being in the market the phases of the market are going to affect us whether we like it True. or not uh, mm-hmm. so in some proportion i think you have to answer to investors specifically in those phases uh, which are very very challenging uh, mm-hmm. so i think that entire perspective came from the focus on these challenging th- phases as well and the realization was very simple chitich uh, i think uh, uh, what i realized was that you cannot be right all the time in the market and mm-hmm. that is why the markets are here precisely if you are wrong into the markets which i have been on numerous occasions i have accepted it i have analyzed where i was going wrong and probably moved on so i don't repeat the mistake uh, the stress factor that comes in is not accepting these mistakes that letting markets overwhelm you or these situations overwhelm you. so being calm poised focused in these stressful periods and taking steps towards it that is all that is required i think if you go to that adage right it all begins in the mind if you are able to probably control this to a large extent Our reactive actions, reactions, emotions, all can be managed. Right. Now, a very well said uh, there, Mayuresh. And lastly, uh, what would you recommend investors or traders to do in 2023? And what could be the uh, you know ideal New Year resolution for them? 23 is going to be a tough year. Uh, yes, we have been about these recessionary factors and angles going on through the globe, uh, but it is also a time period where opportunities will come specifically in the Indian context. We've been talking a lot and hearing a lot about Indian macros. Our demographic is holding up, and my strong belief is that uh, this should aid our earnings momentum and the India story itself, leading okay. India to be a shining beacon over the next few years. So we are in the cusp of a very strong economic cycle, and not only this decade but this century belongs to us. So the mantra for 2023 is uh, keep the faith and focus on uh, your mental and physical health, both. Uh, to enjoy the fruits of what the next few years and decades will bring us. Right. Well on that note thank you so much for your time Arish and that's all for now but do stay long on to edmarkets.com for more on news business and economy. Uh thank you so much for your time Arish. Thank you so much Arish.